my Virgos. It's Jamie Zebra 23. I'm doing your 10-day spread for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. I'm on all social media. It's Jamie Zebra 23. Um, so when I was about to do your reading, this is what I got for you guys. What I got was a marriage proposal, but I saw a redhead, a female, a redheaded female being proposed to. I also saw, for some of you, wow, um, so this is your, your 10 day forecast. Okay. So what I also saw for a lot of you was like a closet and the closet had new, new items in it, like, um, new clothes, new shoes. So some of you will be getting a new wardrobe. So this could symbolize like financial changes, but this can also symbolize, um, like, uh, you cha wanting to change, wanting to reinvent yourself. So if you were, if, for those of you that were the type that likes to like um, wear those like graphic tees, maybe hair up or not shave or sort of just like, you know, just basically just wear whatever you find, you know, the kind that would like lift it out of the, the hamper, do the sniff test and put it on anyway, that, that kind, you guys will be definitely changing in a big way when it comes to your appearance. I don't really know any Virgos that do that because you guys are usually like the glitz glam of the, um, you know, you guys are Virgos. So I don't know any Virgos that would do something like that, but I got to tell you what I'm seeing. Um, and this could also be somebody connected to you, but I feel like you guys are going to be stepping up your game when it comes to your appearance and it will help you professionally. Um, people will take you more seriously and they'll look at you like you're more put together. That doesn't always mean the person's more put together, but it may give off an energy of that. It might propel somebody to even a bigger level. Um, so let's see. Oh, um, I'm on all social media. If you'd like a personal reading, you can check out the website, jamiezebra23.com. My readings are 20 minutes, 40 minutes, and 60 minutes. I typically do your readings within 24 to 48 hours. I also have a new feature, same day readings. It's a little pricier, but you do get your readings the same day. I also have an $8 one question, one answer via email only. I typically answer you within about 20 minutes. I've got lots of stuff on the website. I've got full-size candles, do-it-yourself love kits, protection kits, prosperity kits, crystal stones, pendants, Florida water, Florida water soap, incense sage, uh, protection bracelets, pendulums for divination and prophecy, lots more. Okay, my Virgos. So I do see that for some of you, you do have an Aries that's on the war path, but um, that person is just mad because uh, you're, you're gaining success, you're doing well. Mm. I also see that for a lot of you, um, you're gaining success. So this Aries, this could be an ex, this could be like a coworker, somebody you used to know, but whatever it is, somebody's gonna be attempting to do something. I do see that some of you have a new Cancer Pisces or Scorpio that wants to explore something romantic with you, but they are a little bit nervous that you might not uh, reciprocate. So um, so if you're sort of standoffish in the next 10 days, you might want to, um, if you do like this person and you typically come across a standoffish, you might want to show like that you do like this person, that you are attracted to this person, that this is somebody that you are interested in. I also see that for a lot of you, um, you have the power in many of your situations. So if you want your boss to notice you in a good way, a positive way, you have that power to achieve that. I also see that for a lot of you, when it comes to your own health, especially like spiritual health, you also have control over that. I feel like for a lot of you, you're like, oh, I'm getting spiritually attacked. I'm getting spiritually attacked again. Oh, now it's happening again. Oh, but I, but I already, you know, cleared my chakras or I got my Reiki one or I did this or I did that. You know, sometimes you're going to feel things and it's not always a spiritual attack. Just because you feel something or sense something does not mean it's a spiritual attack. Um, sometimes we can sense energies, different dimensions, and that might cause us to feel things, think things, see things. What you need to do is control your own energy field. Learn how to control yours like a force field. So that when these outside influences come in, you know the difference. So for those of you that are having that issue where you're kind of going a little bit overboard, a little bit crazy with the I'm getting spiritually attacked, calm down. It's going to be fine. Just uh, focus, regroup, try to do a grounding Reiki video and you'll be fine. Okay, because it's saying here that you're actually in control even though you think it's out of control. You're out of control. You are in control. Um, 
I do see that somebody is trying to find out where somebody lives. I feel like we got this a few weeks back for Virgo. Um, somebody wants to know where you live. They may already know and they might be like trying to look around, see who's like to see if you're single, who you're living with, like how you're living. Is, are you doing well? Or do you seem financially good? Like what's going on? It's no big deal. It's probably a Capricorn, a Taurus, or a Virgo. Uh, this could be a fellow Earth sign or... Um, or this could be you that's doing this to somebody else. And it also could be a Sagittarius, a Leo, or an Aries. I do feel like some of you Virgos want to poke around. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cross Watchers. You want to poke around to see if something's true. So some of you might be hearing that so-and-so is seeing somebody on the side or seeing a family member of yours or possibly an ex of yours from the past. And you kind of just want to do a little bit of digging without like involving everybody. I feel like you'll be able to get the information you want, especially if it has to do with a Sagittarius. Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries, but I'm picking up big emphasis on Sagittarius. This could be a man or a woman. I also see that for some of you, there is a Sagittarius, man or woman, Leo or Aries, but big emphasis on Sagittarius, that would like to return to you. They want another chance. They want to see things got a little bit too comfortable over time, possibly uh, over a span of weeks or months or years, things got a little bit a uh, little bit too comfy cozy to where the person felt like they didn't have to put an effort in with you. But I feel like they're actually going to try. They want something to grow. See how there's things, how it's starting to bloom and blossom. Somebody wants that. Some somebody wants a foundation where things can grow now. When it comes to Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio, with you guys, I feel like for some of you, somebody is returning this retrograde. The, so the retrograde energy starts um, probably by the time this video is uploaded, the energy is probably going to be already started. I know I've been feeling it for about a few weeks now, but um, but for those of you that are not as sensitive energetically, um, so you, you there may be a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio that comes back to you. You're going to be happy that they're back, but it's going to be bittersweet because you know they haven't changed and they're poss possibly going to go somewhere else. Also, this person could be a liar. It, like everything that they say, you're just disgusted. Like they, they don't have, th their stories don't even add up. It's kind of like, okay, if you just tell me the truth, we can work this out. If you just tell me the truth, maybe we can start over. But the stories that they're giving you aren't even the truth. So it's like, where do, where do we go from here if you're not even going to tell me the truth? Some of you are just going to be very, very disgusted. And this could be a Virgo that's doing this to a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio as well to where it's like pathological lying. Um, it's just too much lying. It's like lying for no reason. So somebody's just going to be like, you know, if you're not going to tell me the truth, then, then just leave me alone. It's that simple. Just say what it is. Don't beat around the bush. Be consistent and we can do this. All right, my Virgos, have an amazing 10 days. JamieZebra23.com. Ta-ta for now.